actually building the strongest Minecraft army the world has ever seen. Uh, we'll need to use this army in order to fight four custom bosses, the last one being a dragon. Uh, will I be able to upgrade my army and defeat all of the custom bosses? Let's find out. This right here is the first custom boss, the Pharaoh. Look at me, buddy. Look at me. You're gonna die. So these are the six different troops that I'm able to buy to upgrade my army. There's foot soldiers, archers, knights, ballistas, catapults, and trebuchets. We're gonna buy lots of foot soldiers so that they can be the front lines of our army. And then we also probably should have some catapults in the back. Archer, archer, archer. And we also need a couple knights in order to lead our army into battle. King Birdhead has a couple of different soldiers. It looks like there's archers and also just normal foot soldiers. He doesn't have a trebuchet, so we're gonna add a trebuchet and also probably two more foot soldiers. Now, if we spawn in the ally soldiers, we actually get three of them. Soldier, 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 soldier. Howdy, comrades. How we doing today? All of our soldiers have been spawned in. In the back, we'll put two catapults. And right in the center, we'll put a trebuchet that can fling giant stone blocks towards King Birdhead. The secondary line of defense will be archers. And then at the front of the lines, we'll have our knights. Let's do this. Go, my army! Now, I can also command them. So, I can select them all together, and then I can command them to attack. Oh, my goodness. Wait, this is crazy. The trebuchet is extremely slow, but it looks like it loads up and shoves a giant boulder in their faces. Okay, they're trying to infiltrate our defenses in order to get to our catapults, which are some of our most powerful weapons yet. Right now, the foot soldiers and the knights are working great together to hold them back. We still have a couple of King Birdhead soldiers kind of just hanging back behind, but as long as we defeat King Birdhead, it shouldn't matter. They all should just go running scared back home to their mothers. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is crazy. I have so many more soldiers than King Birdhead. This man wasn't prepared. There's still three other bosses that we need to kill, though, other than King Birdhead. I know that one of the bosses is a giant cyclops. There's also a dragon and then a mystery boss that I'm not entirely sure what it is. It doesn't matter, though. My army is impeccable. They're the strongest gosh darn army the world has ever seen. Look at that. King Birdhead is dead. They actually put up quite a bit of a fight. They somehow were able to destroy my trebuchet, and it looks like they're actually doing a lot of damage. There's a couple of the Pharaoh's warriors, which look like they're just kind of mummies, still kind of lingering about. I'm actually getting a little bit worried because there's still a couple archers back here and also some other foot soldiers. And my army is basically dead at this point. I lost? No! <laughs> what? Bro, that's crazy. There was only four of King Birdhead's troops left. And he's back now. This time I decided to go with a lot more archers. We only have two groups of ally soldiers, but we have 13 sets of archers. And also, just in case they don't do the trick, I also bought the world's biggest crossbow and two catapults. Let's see how we do. Beck Bro Army, do not let your Beck Bro commander down. All right, so as you can see, the knights are taking kind of a beating. We also have our foot soldiers going directly into the gauntlet of the battle. There are so many archers back here. I probably got way too many archers, but it'll be worth it. Or, or maybe not. It is basically like a machine gun right now. Also, wait, one of our catapults is literally at the front of the lines. That is not what I want our catapults to do. How do I select units? Okay, so let's try to select this unit right here. Okay, we'll try to move the unit over here. I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't have that many more troops left, and they're mainly just archers. We did not even manage to kill King Birdhead. Flip, dude! Knights, 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 knights. 20 sets of uh, soldiers, two trebuchets, and some archers all the way back here. You guys are warriors. You are champions. Let's do this! Georgia! <laughs> Oh, they're all gonna die. Yes! Our knights are doing so much damage! And the soldiers are all just causing havoc right here. Look at them! The soldier unit is up. They all have giant spears that they're poking the mummies with. Unravel all the toilet paper, soldiers. We have a few more archers left that are doing tons of damage, and our soldiers are basically down to the last six. This is way harder than I thought it'd be. My strategy this round is going to be a little bit different. I decided to kind of space out all of my troops, so the Soldiers are gonna come in a little bit later. I put some troops up here so that our catapults are able to hit whatever comes through this little door system here. Oh, I think it's working. What's up, King Birdhead? As long as we don't get close to him, I don't think he can really do any damage to us. Go for his knees. He has weak knees. Poke and stab, boys, poke and stab. Oh God, this doesn't look good. Stay strong, boys, you got this. I don't wanna speak too soon, but it seems like I might actually win this round. My archers are way too powerful. Altogether, they're like a medieval Gatling gun, all shooting their arrows at max speeds. <laughs> I spoke too soon. 
<laughs> They're all dead. This time it's actually working. I added in a couple more horses and a couple more foot soldiers. I didn't buy any trebuchets, any of the catapults, or any of the giant crossbows. King Birdhead has been defeated. These are the last two. Why are they doing so much damage? Wait. We did it. Yes. There was a couple soldiers back here just hiding out. And they took down the last of Big Head Bird's army. The next custom boss is the Undead Lich King. Uh, he commands an undead legion of warriors. I heard they don't even scrub their teeth at night. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, we'll start off by sending in an army of our foot soldiers, followed by a line of knights. Lots of archers. And last but not least, a catapult directly in the center. Oh my gosh, these things are quick. This is insane. What? The entire battle is happening in a super tiny hallway. Bro, I was not expecting this at all. Look at them. They're literally like World War Z zombies trying to build a wall over my troops. We outnumbered them 10 to 1. So we're not able to go through this door right here. It seems like there's actually some sort of booby trap set up. Luckily, it seems like we can go around the right side here, but there are other undead troops. My knights are taking the first attack into their own hands. Whoa! The Lich King just did some sort of mega attack. What the heck was that? Okay, some of my troops are a little bit confused. Uh, they don't understand that they need to go all the way around. My horses are doing some amazing things right now. They're actually at the Lich King and they're fighting him. This might end up being a little bit easier than I thought it would. He did just bonk all of them to death, but luckily we have reinforcements coming. And we have lots of reinforcements. Basically, my entire army is coming to avenge all of my horses. The Lich King is down to about one-fifth of its health. You're dead, buddy. Oh, my gosh. He's getting lit up. But look at all these arrows. This is insane. We did it. First try. Yo, the Beckfro army is getting strong. The third custom boss is a giant one-eyed cyclops named Bobito. I thought it would probably be a good idea to just surround Bobito with warriors and also archers. We'll also add in a ballista that should hopefully be able to shoot him in the eyeball. He only has one eyeball, so if we take that out, he won't be able to see. This is about to be the most insane battle yet. If you guys have haven't already, please go ahead and smash like, like this Cyclops is going to smash my entire army. I really don't have much of a strategy here other than just to spawn them all in on my side and see if maybe they can survive some damage. He's basically just some- What? Nobody told me there was something hiding in his butt! Ah, uh, god, this is bad. Bobito spawned in Boquito. Bobito and Boquito, apparently they're twins. Look at this dude's spear. It looks absolutely insane. Plus he has a giant shield, but for whatever reason, he doesn't seem like he does that much damage. Never mind, they're all dead. Okay, we took down Boquito. It's just Bobito left. He still has a little bit more health than I would like. Oh no, no. Oh, he has ranged attacks. Some of my archers are hiding in between the blocks and they're using it basically as like a hiding spot for like trenches. Oh, that doesn't look good. We did it somehow, some way. Bobito got shot in the eyeball with our ginormous trebuchet. This round, I'm going with a three-pronged attack. The horses are going to come straight up the center. We have archers coming in from the left side, and then I also have troops all the way back here that are going to wait, and they'll be on the reserves just in case all of my other troops die. Ooh, it's working! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. By the time we had the dragon at this much health in the last round, we were already dead. Now would be a good time for our reserve troops to come out of hiding. Thank you very much. You thought you were done? You were wrong! There's more! Oh, God, they're getting burned alive. They're so close! Come on! Shoot faster! Your life literally depends on it! You're useless! No! I get it, the dragon won again! I went with a different strategy this round. This one I decided to just do two trebuchets, two ballista crossbows, and also two catapults to sneak up on the big molten dragon. I think they'll probably end up doing more damage to the dragon overall, since they can fire out giant missiles of stones and bow and arrows. Alright, never mind, one already died, that's not good. Catapults, now be a good time to turn around and go home for the day. <laughs> They're dead. Oh, Flip, dude. Flipping biscuits and gravy. I am so dead. One ballista, two ballista, three, four, five, six ballistas. Couple of ally soldiers. Horsey horse. And some archers for good luck. You guys are in charge. Oh my god. We have created a machine gun of giant arrows. 
I've watched enough medieval shows and also movies to know that giant ballistas are the best way to take down dragons because they have very thick scales. So I have a good feeling that we might win. The problem is we don't have a lot of soldiers. So if they die, our dragon is no longer going to be distracted and is going to easily go smash all of our wooden ballistas. But let's not think about that right now. Watch out for the fireballs. Oh God, they just got killed. That's not good. No, that's okay. That's fine. The horses are surrounding the dragons. This time we have two trebuchets, a giant ballista, and also a secret catapult that's gonna sneak up on the molten dragon. The plan is to kill it in this passageway right here. How does it do so much damage? Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It is a flipping dragon, but still, it only has literally a slither of health left. Wait, there's an archer down there. If this thing fires just one time, I think we'll win. Why isn't it working? No, no way. <laughs> it didn't shoot. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's on its last legs. Come on, yes! Just in time! We only had one trebuchet left. That was absolutely insane. Make sure you guys smash like and hit subscribe. This Christmas, I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch, signed merchandise, a free Zoom call, and much more. Go to beckbrojack.co in the description down below for more details on how you can enter to win any of these prizes.